Hello, everybody. George down George's Kentucky Workshop. Home alone, it's Tuesday. Today, I'm going to show you my little homemade carburetor cleaner machine that I made probably five, six years ago. What I did was, let me set that up. This is a little electric Craftsman motor supposed to fit like a Craftsman scroll saw. I got that. I took a piece of scrap plywood that I had, a couple of hose clamps around it to support the motor, made this little counterbalance here out of a piece of scrap stock uh, to fit the shaft, quarter 20 bolt, a couple of extra nuts on there. On the bottom side, I've got some felt pads there just so it vibrates a little bit better. And when you turn it on, it vibrates a little bit. Here is a one gallon can, used to be gunk carburetor cleaner. Nice thing about that is it comes with this nifty little strainer bucket. Uh, I bought that many years ago. It gets thick, it gets nasty. I end up throwing it out, rinsing out the bucket. What I use now is simple green. Get that Lowe's for fairly short money. Uh, I mix that 50 50. And I'll put my carburetor part in, my chainsaw carburetors, whatever type of carburetor, take it apart, put it in the basket. Then you turn on my little electric motor here. Ready? Yep, see those little vibrations there in the fluid? That makes a tremendous difference. Yes, it does. I usually just set this thing on the floor and I'll let it vibrate for a few hours or overnight. I've had carburetors I've left in there for like a day or two. And you get done, you turn the thing off, you reach in, pull out the basket, rinse it off blow it off. I stick my little wire th through all my little jets, my passages, blow it out, and that's it. Just a little simple redneck thing that I made several years ago that works really well. I just bought a heated ultrasonic carburetor cleaning machine I should be getting next week. I can't wait to show you that. I can't wait to try that out. All right, everybody, just a quick little video here showing you what anybody can do with hardly anything. I mean, a piece of scrap, plywood. I bought that little electric motor on Mr. eBay. I bought that thing brand new on eBay. Came with the power cord, the switch on the top and everything. I think I paid $10 for it. Scrap piece of plywood, four little felt pads on the bottom. I just put these little pieces of scrap in there so the bucket wouldn't vibrate off. You know, simple as that. All right, Eddie. Eddie in New Hampshire. This is what I've been talking about forever. Okay, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Be a proud American. If you can help somebody, please do. See ya.